thing I want to do is share some information. We have been meeting in the Chogham Action Network since March because what we realised at the Chogham Summit at the end of this month, that Chogham Summit is going to be a meeting of the 1%. And it's very important that the 99% have our response. If all the media hears about and talks about is a meeting of rich parasites and war criminals and they, and they talk about people having sausages on the foreshore, that's going to be a victory for the 1%. Shame. But if, on the other hand, there is a huge demonstration of the people of Perth to say we are not prepared to accept this situation, we're going to campaign for something different, that'll be a victory for the 99%. So as I said, we've been meeting in March trying to plan this protest on the 28th of October and we decided we're going to meet right here in Forest Place at 10am on the Friday the 28th of October. In the last few weeks, we've all been inspired to see the exciting developments in Wall Street. And also to see that that's not just confined to Wall Street, it's spreading around the world. The last, the last I heard, there are more than 1,800 of these events around the world today. The other thing I heard a couple of days ago was that the Mayor of New York was planning to clean up the Wall Street occupation, kick all the people out and clean up the park. Do you know what happened? They backed off. They were too scared. They were too scared of the 99%. And I think this is what gives us hope that this movement that is growing around the world is a, is a really exciting development. And it promises, it promises the beginning of something that can win a real and meaningful justice for people all around the planet. So the last two meetings of the Chogham Action Network have basically been combined because a lot of people have come along from the Occupy Perth movement. People have been inspired by the Occupy Wall Street and people have wanted to start the plannings for Occupy, occupying Perth. And we planned this assembly here today and we wanted to basically make this an open space for people to, to decide the next steps in this campaign. But our meeting on Thursday had a long discussion and we've got a recommendation that we want to put up for discussion today. So we want to see what people think about this idea. But the idea we want to we want to put forward is that we, we work as hard as we can over the next two weeks to build that protest on the 28th as big as possible. But then at the end of that protest, we march as close as we can to the convention centre, but we come back to Forest Place and begin the occupation of Perth. There's a... A lot of people think this began in Wall Street. It's obviously been going a lot longer than that. There's been protests in Greece and Spain and other parts of the world. And there's also the protests that toppled dictatorships in Tunisia and Egypt. And a big focus of the protests in Egypt was the protests in the, the occupation of Tahrir Square. If Perth has got a Tahrir Square, this is it. <laughs> 